I'm going to start off your reading with an oracle card. It's just something to focus on, think about, or look out for. And also is an oracle card for Aries. In the pre-shuffle, I was getting an energy of healing or recovering from something specific, like um, I mean, hopefully not, but I was getting like the energy of an accident or it almost felt like it's a mirror, like I'm getting like, like it's a miracle that you got out of that or you got through that or possibly a family member or something. So yeah, I was feeling, I was feeling a very strong energy of just being very happy and grateful that something didn't go a way that it could have gone or like is not as bad as it could be. Universe, what is a message for Aries? Okay, prayer. Okay, that's a good one. So for some of you, I feel like for some of you, you are definitely thanking uh, the universe for a certain outcome. And for some of you, you could be praying for a certain outcome. For those of you interested in a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. There's different reading options for you to choose from. Also, go check out the merch at swordstarotmerch.com. A couple of my favorites are the hoodies and the mug. I think everything on there is super, super cute, so go check it out. Also, don't forget about my lashes at jayslashes.com for you girlies. Do go check it out also on Instagram as well. Also, do be sure to go check out my vlog channel over there. Just share a little bit more of my personal life. And now, let's get back into the video. Um, with the situation. Universe, what are the messages for Aries? Okay. The Nine of Swords. Yeah. Very worried about a situation. Uh, for some of you, you could be worried about, you know, home, finances, things like that. I do feel for some of you, you could be worried about someone else. Um, the Eight of Cups. I do feel... Uh, for some of you, also I'm getting an energy outside of you. Um, there could be somebody that is worried that you may lose interest in them or that you may walk away from them. Of course, this could be vice versa, but I am getting an energy that someone is, they're feeling a lot of anxiety, like, is Aries going to leave me or like, what's going on? Like, somebody's feeling very insecure about a situation regarding you. We do have the Empress card here, so definitely new opportunities here for you. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra. I'm also getting strong Taurus energy here as well. But the Empress, I do feel like she does represent um, abundance. So for some of you, you could be working very hard. She can represent the start of something, the start of a business, the start of a project, something like that. We do have the Three of Swords here as well. So if this is a person in your life, or for some of you that are in a uh, maybe difficult partnership, friendship, or relationship, somebody's very heartbroken here. Like somebody feels betrayed in some way. Yeah, the Ten of Swords flipping over. Somebody definitely feels betrayed in some way. Some of you guys will be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And what are the messages for Aries? Yeah, somebody's very hurt. Um, like very, it's almost like they're they're trying to push through this energy. The Ten of Wands and the Strength, it's like they are very overwhelmed right now. But it's like with the Strength card, they're just powering through it. A strong Leo energy here. Okay. Yeah, the Tower and the Ace of Swords. Something's going to become very clear. Um, there can, the Ace of Swords can represent some communication, some information that is coming in. The Ace of Swords is always the truth. Uh, paired with the Eight of Wands like this, definitely could be some communication. I feel like you're going to learn something about... This person, the situation, for some of you could be dealing with the Scorpio. Why is the Nine of Swords energy here? Okay. Yeah. For some of you, you okay, for some of you, I'm getting a couple messages. Maybe you've walked away from a situation. Um, you're questioning if you made the right decision on that. Or if you're debating, okay, do I walk away from the situation? You could be questioning, is that the right decision? Now, with the Six of Cups, this could be, uh, you could be dealing with a soulmate here, somebody that, of course, you care for very deeply. Um, but things are just very difficult right now. Like, shit is just hard. Hmm. Why is the Eight of Cups energy here? It almost, I'm getting an energy like you want to be with this person or you want things to work out, but they're just not. Why is the Eight of Cups energy here? Yeah, and a lot of you, you could be praying for answers, like, you know, what do I do? Okay. Okay, and I'm getting for some of you as well. You're ready, you're just ready for something new. 
There could be new love already here for you with the Ace of Cups. So this could be love coming in. Um, I also feel as well, if this is vice versa, somebody could be worried that you're going to run off with somebody new. And this could be someone specific. Maybe they're already like thinking about it. Like, okay, is Aries going to run off um, with this person? Why is the Empress card here? For some of you, you may have children with this person or you could be pregnant. Why is the Empress card energy here? Hmm. Yeah, and I feel like for a lot of you, if this is advice, the Seven of Wands with the Empress is the same, protect your own energy. Because I'm kind of feeling um, that the Empress is kind of representing you right now. I really feel that you're wanting to do better. Um, I do feel like a lot of you could be in a very grateful state, especially considering some of the things that you guys have gone through um, and you're still here. And I feel like a lot of things are being put in perspective for you, kind of seeing, because there's a lot of... There's a lot of difficulty here. The Nine of Swords, that's anxiety. That's overthinking shit. The Ten of Swords is feeling fucked over, betrayed. The Three of Swords is heartbreak. Ten of Wands is overwhelmed. This is a lot. Like, it really is a lot. And I feel like a lot of you, are, you're just ready to get away from this situation. For some of you, this is a living situation. Um, this could be a family situation for some of you. Um, but do you know all this bullshit? The Tower is the last card here. The Tower is going to fall like something's gonna like if your intuition is already saying like okay i need to get out of this situation you will get out of this situation whether you do it or the tower has to step in and shake things up for you why is the three of swords energy here the three of swords for some of you you could be concerned is there a third party going on why is the three of swords here yeah the eight of swords okay some of you feel stuck in this situation the death card the devil some of you feel very trapped like, notice both these people are just stuck. And the interesting, the death card here, I feel like advice is to end it. Especially if you're feeling this way. The thing about the Eight of Swords is, yeah, it feels like a prison, but it's a mental prison. I do feel like this person here, for some of you, is trying to keep you in this box. Or trying to keep you here. But that's so frustrating, because it seems like everything is just very frustrating right now. Why is the Ten of Swords energy here? I feel like a lot of you in your gut, you know you're, you're going to walk away from this. So you're going to have to walk away from this. Yeah, the Hermit card. This is listening to your guides. Like, the Hermit card is very spiritual. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. But the Hermit card here, I feel like this is representing spirit trying to guide you. Like, if you're getting a lot of messages, a lot of um, visions, dreams, things like that, spirit is really trying to communicate with you right now. Why is the Ten of Wands energy here? Okay, so I will say this. If you decide to stay in this situation, this living situation, this relationship, whatever it is for you, you will continue to be disappointed. The Four of Cups is feeling disappointed, um, you know, feeling upset. The Five of Pentacles, this is feeling like you just things are getting worse and worse. Like the Five of Pentacles is like feeling a lack of something, lack of money, lack of love, lack of whatever. It's like, and I feel like for some of you, you could be giving too much to somebody. Like maybe you keep offering things like this person's offering pinnacles, offering a cup. It's like in whatever you do, anything you try to do, this person is still fucking miserable. This is kind of what I'm getting. And like there's that that saying like misery loves company. That's definitely true. And I feel like they're trying to keep you here. So listen to your guides right now. I feel like your guides are saying move forward. Do what you need to do because regardless of all this shit, I do feel like you guys have a plan. With the Empress card here, you have a plan. You know what you want to do or you know you what you want to pursue or like, you know, something like you know you want to do something else. Like whether it's career-wise or, you know, living situation-wise, whatever. You have goals and it's like this person is really keeping you from even getting started or, you know, dealing with the situation that you have already. Why is the Strength card energy here? Really, I'm getting energy that they're holding you back. It just kind of seems like that. Like, I do feel like there's a lot of love here with the Six of Cups. However, in relationships, you know, love is not enough. Like, I feel like you're just not getting any support. Yeah, the Strength card with the Page of Pentacles. I feel like you powering through this. Because this could be you powering through this shit. You're not learning anything. The Page of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like Spirit is saying you are not meant to power through this. You're meant to learn from it and move on. Why is the Ace of Swords energy here? For some of you, this is going to be, oh yeah, woohoo, yeah. The Eight of Cups, the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, it is time to go. 
Like, it is time to leave this person, let them be miserable alone, and it's time to go. Because this is what you're going to, this is what's going to happen. You're just going to end up like that. Like, and the Ten of Swords, that's interesting that that has come out. Because that's like, it's like, like, this person has swords in their back. Like, somebody's betraying you, has, is stabbing you in the back. It almost makes you feel like somebody is lying to you. Why is the Ten of Swords energy here? Why is the Ten of Swords energy here for Aries? Okay. So we have the Emperor and the Nine of Wands. So I don't know why immediately. I feel like this person knows you're strong. They know you can handle it. They know you can deal with it. All of that. And it's like the Nine of Wands is the reverse. They know your boundaries are not up. Or they're willing to push your boundaries. Like, it just kind of seems like that. Like, this person definitely can be lying. They're not respecting the boundaries that you put on this relationship. Like, for some of you, if this is a relationship for, for some of you, they don't respect your boundaries pretty much. Like, you know, rules, whatever, of the relationship. Obviously, don't talk to anybody else. Like, flirting and shit like that. Like, I feel like they just don't respect that. Why is the Tower card energy here? Yeah, I'm... Phew. I feel... That this, I mean, this tower is going to happen regardless. You can't avoid the tower. However, you don't have to be up in this building when it crashes. It, it's time for you to go now. And it's like, once you do, you got the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Wands waiting for you. Blessings could come in the form of abundance, new opportunity, money, whatever. And the Page of Wands, this is new, a new opportunity, a new um, like something else to focus on. And it definitely feels like maybe work, new work opportunity, new business opportunity, something like that. It's like once you get out of all this chaos, you're going to be able to manifest what it is that you want. So, Universe, what is the overall advice for Aries? Okay. The judgment card. It's time to make a decision. When judgment is here, this is a final decision as well. So... And I do feel like how you make that decision is you listen to your gut. At this point, I would not listen to your heart. Listen to your gut on this one because there's a lot going on. Whether you see it or not, I feel like a lot of this is like in your thoughts. Like maybe you already feel this, but it's about to become apparent what is going on. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. Also, be sure to check my links down below in my vlog channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.